Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students, sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and Strive Scan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and your microphone are turned off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at cacro.org. That is C-A-C-R-A-O.org. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within a week at that same website at cacro.org. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. Good afternoon, guys. It's so great to have you here with us. I am going to go ahead and let us introduce my, ourselves. I'm Alicia Parsons. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions for tra tra Transfer and Non-Traditional Populations. I also work with graduate studies here at Catawba College. Um, Catawba College is a four-year private liberal arts institution located here in uh, Salisbury, North Carolina. We are a smaller college with only about 1,300 students, uh, um, undergrad students. We, are, uh, we have students coming from 34 different states, 19 different countries. So we're hoping that you'll join us here in the spring or fall. Holly. Hey everyone, my name is Holly Sawyers. I work for the Division of Distance and Online Education. So any student who would be qualified as a fully online or an evening student. Um, and we're excited that you guys are here with us and thank you so much for listening and joining in. So I am going to share my screen real quick to get us going. And the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to have some fun. So with that said, um, we're going to play a little bit of Kahoot. So if you guys are able to go to that website at the top of your screen, and um, it will ask you to, to enter that pin, and then choose a fun nickname that works well with you. It doesn't have to be your first name. It can be something like dog if you want it to be. So we'll give you a minute to do so. All right, and when you guys are ready, just go ahead and put in that pass code, that pin right there. And it should connect. So I'm going to let Holly take over and we'll get you guys going and playing some just a couple quick Kahoot questions. Okay, looks like we still got some players connecting here. Give it just a second. All right. Well, if it'll work, it is not letting me in. Let's try this one more time. Well. Okay, three, three, four, one, six, five, two. Well, we can always, if we cannot get in, because I have a spinning um, uh, circle of death on my phone, because I just wanted to make sure that we got some people going yeah. and asking questions. We can always put questions up, and then you guys can answer uh, in the chat. So you want to go ahead and start it, and if people are able to get in, then we can do that.
Alicia, do you have the chat option to get started or any questions there? I haven't had any that have popped up, but okay. uh, go ahead and start the questions and then we can go ahead and begin. Okay, so first question on that Kahoot game, if it ever would have loaded, would have been, what is your major? And we've got a couple of different big items here at Catawba. Um, one thing that we're looking into is our business. Um, we also have, let me exit out of here. We also have nursing that goes along with our health and human performances. Uh, we have things such as theater arts, uh, very big for theater arts. We also have, uh, let's see, I'm blanking now because my game's not working. Um, and we've got many of folks that come to us that are undecided. We also have many of folks that come to us for teacher education. If any of those are kind of popping up to you or anything sounds interesting, education, health and human performance, business, science, philosophy, any of those sound interesting, feel free to pop something up there in the Q&A chat so we can kind of tailor this a little more specifically to you if you'd like. Second question would be something that's kind of come up for us is a concern for COVID and being on campus. I'm sure that's something a lot of you currently now at your um, at other institutions, whether that be high school or other community colleges is everything's kind of changed right now. Um, if you would, in the Q&A, maybe send us a, a message of, hey, I'm a little bit concerned, I'm somewhat concerned, I'm not at all concerned, or I'm very concerned, and what's Catawba's policy, and what's Catawba's plan for COVID? As of right now, we are still in person, and we are in the green status, which is very good. Um, you can actually check that out at our website, big banner that runs across the top. Our third question would be, are you interested in student life and how? So we had a couple of options there. If you want to pop it in that Q&A chat there, student life could be something as um, your clubs, organizations, athletics, community engagement, any of those kind of pop up or you think, oh, I wonder if I could do something extra at Catawba, not just take classes, but how can I fully immerse myself into Catawba lifestyle. Those are some really good areas to look into. Um, and again, if you have anything, question, answer, chat box there is always open. The last question would have been something that's very big for a lot of our students is how many credits are you bringing in? A lot of students may think, oh, I know I'm bringing in a specific number. You might be bringing in only three or four classes. You may be bringing in over 40 plus hours, you may be bringing in a full associate's degree to us. Let us know in the Q&A if you have less than or more than any specific number, we'd be able to, we'd be happy to help you and kind of work through what hours are needed, what hours are gonna transfer over and how many more you have left to complete your bachelor's here at Catawba. All right, so as I'm gonna go ahead and go, Holly, can you see my screen of the PowerPoint all right? Perfect. So we have over 70 different academic, ooh, we're gonna jump into Kahoot again. Let's jump back out of that. Now we can go into our academic programs. We have over 70 different academic programs in different schools here at Catawba College. Um, first, we're gonna start off with our School of Business. The Kettner School of Business prepares students for successful personal and professional careers by blending a strong foundation in liberal hearts with the highest quality of undergraduate and graduate business education. We just started this fall our MBA program, so we're very proud of that. But we do have a very active online and um, seated portion for our business programs. The next school I want to talk is our School of uh, Education. The Enoch uh, Dorothy Goodman School of Education offers education majors at Catawba that receive an education rich in personal attention. Students majoring in education fields may be eligible for the West, Scholar Te West Teaching Scholarship upon acceptance to the college. The, the Catawba's teacher education programs are approved by the North Carolina State Board of Education and the Department of Public Instruction for licensure of our graduates. 
The next school I'd like to talk about is our School of Health, Science, and Human Performances. This is one of our newest schools uh, to Catawba. It's growing super fast with our newest program that's been added to it is nursing. Our School of Health and Science and Human Performance is very active. It's important um, to this program that we give back to our community. The school is empathetic with students' needs and have a servants of hearts and um, who are passionate about the athletic or I'm sorry, the academic uh, discipline. Um, they work a lot with our athletes that are coming in because a lot of them end up going towards um, athletic training and exercise science, and they work well with uh, um, the curriculum with our sports teams. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next program or the school I'd like to talk to is our School of Performing Arts. No, that's not the school I'm at. <laughs> This is the school of, <laughs> I'm so sorry, <clears throat> of, um, let's go scroll back to make sure I'm going to say it right. The School of Arts and Sciences here. So the Schools of Arts and Sciences, this is where you're going to find a lot of our pre-programs, um, our pre-dentist, our pre-health, pre-med, pre-vet are all part of this. This is also where our humanities fall as well. So we have a lot to offer in this different areas and um, very active in our communities with this, these programs. Now we're gonna go into the School of Performing Arts, the Adrian Dor L. Dorothy L. Schufer Junior School of Performing Arts here at Catawba. You can get a bachelor's degree in music um, and, and that envelops the, and prepares students to excel in musically inclusive world of the 21st century. Students majoring and minoring in the music um, and performing arts, our ensembles may be eligible for music scholarships as well here. Students pursuing the bachelor's degree in theater arts are trained to adapt and be flexible and face the rapidly shifting the theatrical landscape that we have. We do have two theaters here at Cantaba, one of the large one that you can see here in the image and then a smaller, more personal theater in Salisbury. We have four theaters that are active with our Th Salisbury community. And that's ranging from um, children's theater all the way to adult theater. And a lot of our students get involved in those as well. Our next program here is our School of Evening and Online Programs. You may already have um, one degree or need another to advance your career. We are here to help to work with adult students to earn their bachelor's degree. Whether you are returning to school after 15 years or transferring in from a community college, you will find other students just like you in these programs. Um, so if you have any questions on this specific area, Holly Sawyer will be your contact for this one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a lot of students that come to us, such as a transfer or even first time freshmen. Um, not only do we offer great many things in the day program, but we have just a robust program offering for online and evening. So, and I'm going to scoot back one more because I didn't cover one circle that I really want to cover a little bit more here, and that is our undecided and open-minded. We do have um, an area here at Catawba College that specifically will focus with our undecided students that are having a hard time deciding what they want to do, and that is okay. We are here at Catawba. We'll sit down with the students with your academic advisor and talk to them more about what their goals in life are and what they want to do when they um, graduate with Catawba, whether that is merging to uh, bachelor programs together and making your own personal bachelor's degree, that is an option here at Catawba. So our average uh, class size here at Catawba is about 15 students. Um, but once you get into your major, it tends to be a lot smaller, like six to eight students. Very um, personal setting. All of uh, professors know you by name. Uh, I joke with students that once you get on campus that first week, it takes you maybe five minutes to get from one class to another. But within you know, and two weeks, three weeks, it takes you about 30 minutes to get from one class to another because you're running, you know everybody. And it's just that small, close-knit personal experience. 
Another thing that I love about Catawba College is that we don't have any teacher assistants here at Catawba. I went to a larger institution myself and we had um, teacher assistants teaching our labs and our sciences. So for an example, here at Catawba, if Dr. Bolin is teaching you in the lecture portion, he will also be teaching you in the lab portion. So if you're struggling in something in lecture, he will be able to get, you, get together with you and focus more on those hands-on areas to help you excel. So the next area that we would love to uh, focus on today is going to be in our athletics. We here at Catawba have 23 NCAA athletic teams. Our newest one that just came on two years ago is beach volleyball. We're uh, one of two schools in North Carolina that have beach volleyball, so we're excited about that. We also have 11 different intramural teams here at Catawba. So with our different intramural teams, it's fun because you can get involved with faculty or uh, professors and staff members and play dodgeball with them. So if you didn't do that great on that test, you know, you know who you're aiming for. <laughs> We have over 40 different clubs and organizations here at Catawba College. They're all student-led, professor-backed. And one thing that's neat here is that if you don't see a, a club or organization here that you are interested in, we include, encourage our students to de develop one them themselves. I had a student this past summer that noticed that we did not have a book club here at Catawba. Lo and behold, she added one um, this fall and um, they're active with that book club. So the question that everybody wants to know about is the financial aid here at Catawba and how, that, how does it work? So to start off, 100% of our students for the day program will receive 100, um, some type of financial aid scholar or merit scholarship. So you'll be coming in with a little money's off the top for our day program. Um, we, the, currently the merit scholarships do run from 8,000 to 12,000 for this coming spring, and it's going to be bumped up here in this coming fall. So that's something to look forward to. You can contact me for more information about that. We also have top talent scholarships available. Those are going to be available for, um, our music, our theater, sports. Those are all available for students that are interested in those programs as well. We do encourage our students to fill out their FAFSA um, or complete the FAFSA waiver form. FAFSA is just an opportunity for, for more monies to help you get through. And what can it hurt, right? So we accept, also want to let you know that we do accept Phi Theta Kappa members. If you have a 3.5 GPA and eligible for the, to join the Phi Theta Kappa for $50, that's all it is, um, all you need to do is submit your membership certificate during the application process and you'll be eligible for uh, possibly a $1,000 scholarship here at Catawba College. One good thing, uh, Alicia, is that you're moving right into it. We have a lot of departmental scholarships. So if you're curious about all the many departments that we offer, you need to dig into them a little further because you're about to find out some really good deals that each scholarship is gonna provide you with. Yes, so we do um, have a departmental scholarships available. Students must, um, most of the application deadlines are November 1st for those um, specific de departmental scholarship. And that's of the year that you are applying for. You can find a full list of scholarships at www.catawba.edu backslash scholarships for more information there. Now the question that everybody wants to know, this is the tuition currently for Catawba for the day program. Um, we do um, keep in mind, want you to keep in mind that everybody's gonna be coming, be getting that merit scholarship that comes off of that tuition. And then any additional um, need-based scholarship will be um, stacked with that and come off of that. So it does make it a lot really affordable. Our average cost for room and board, um, we are on a tier base for all of our residence halls, but our average cost is 6,660 currently. I know with the day program, Holly, do you wanna talk about the classes for the day program? So for the day program tuition, one, you can obviously stack all these scholarships on top of each other. So don't let that number get to you right away. That would be a rock bottom out of the door. You don't have any scholarships, no financial aid. Don't let that scare you. Um, one good thing that we have, if you're looking, if you're kind of undecided about living on campus and you're looking into an online or evening program, 
is that our tuition is um, just a little bit of a different rate because you're living at home. You don't have a room and board pay. Um, you're not using our facilities for internet or computers or things of that nature. So we don't have any other uh, extra fees or any bonus added CAF fees if you're not going to the cafeteria. So for online and evening students, you're looking at $379 a credit hour. So that's $379 a credit hour. And however many classes you want to take, kind of bump that up. And again, kind of going back one slide is that we also offer transfer scholarships to help with that fund as well. And so the next thing we want to talk about is credits coming for Catawba. Catawba will accept up to 64 credit hours from an accredited community college and up to 90 credit hours from a four-year institution. Graduates from community colleges with an associates in arts, associates in science, associates in fine arts, or an associates in nursing will be able to transfer up to 64 credit hours and be able to have all of their general education credits fulfilled. They will also enroll into Catawba as a junior standing student and then jump right into their major. So we, just like any other school, do have that articulation agreement with the community college systems. And if you ever have any questions of what credit I have, uh, is this gonna transfer? Alicia and I are here, so if you ever need to send us an unofficial transcript and say, hey, does this look like I would be bringing in 52 credit hours or am I gonna be bringing in 56 credit hours? We'd be able to express some of the classes that uh, are transferable or something that may only just be at a community college level, such as your DMA classes that may not transfer over, um, but we'll kind of give you kind of a breakdown of, yes, this class transfers and how many credits you're going to get for it. We also have VA benefits here. Um, for more information, I definitely want you to um, look into contacting your, uh, your veterans benefits counselor. They will tell you which chapter that you would fall under. A lot of students come to me letting me know that they're VA, but don't know what uh, chapter that they fall into. So I encourage you to reach out to your veterans counselor. And here that number is 1-888-442-4555. Again, that's 1-888-442-4551. And they'll be able to help you, um, help you understand what area, what chapter that you would qualify for. Now, um, coming to the end here about how to apply to Catawba. So this is um, going to be more focused for the day program. And then I'm, once again, I'm going to let Holly jump in for the application process for our online and evening program. Um, it's pretty easy. You can join through, uh, apply through Common App. You just mark Catawba as your school, or you can go and start an application that's free at catawba.edu backslash apply. We will need, uh, typically, we need a high school transcript. Again, unless you have that associate's degree, we don't need a high school transcript. We need an, um, all transcripts from all prior institutions. You need to have an average of a 2.0 or higher GPA. And the last thing that we request is the transfer reference for rest, re, I can't speak transfer reference form from your most recent institution. And that's just a form that states that you're in good standing. You can find that at catawba.edu backslash transfer ref dot PDF. Um, if you're transferring with under 24 credit hours, we do need those test scores. We know during COVID right now, we do have some uh, questionable issues with students getting those test scores to mm -hmm. us. We are willing to work with that. And um, test optional is an option for our transfer students at this point. So for following up there from Alicia, we, you still would want to go to the catawba.edu backslash apply. When you're filling out your application, there's some options there if you want to be an online and evening student, and then it'll populate up our degree programs that we offer. If, um, if you apply and you're a transfer student, we would need your high school transcripts and all official college transcripts that you've received credit from, even if it's just one class and even if it's just one credit. Um, we don't require the transfer reference form. However, as long as you can get us those official transcripts, that tells us that you're in some, some sort of good standing with that previous college you've left. Um, and we don't transfer in grades, we transfer in credit hours, which is always tends to be a little helpful with some of my students who are a little nervous about online classes 
or say you finished your degree, um, but are now coming back to college for um, a couple of years off, that degree you graduated with years ago may not have the highest GPA. That's okay. We want to see the classes and the courses that you've taken. So again, fill out that application for online. We want the high school transcript and all official college transcripts. If you are a previous bachelor's degree holder, all we need is your previous college transcripts, not your high school. Wonderful. So Holly, I just got a question in that says, can I attend Catawba if I don't have a 2.0 GPA? Absolutely, come on down. So if you don't have a 2.0 GPA, that's okay. No need to panic, don't feel ashamed. All you wanna do is apply for the online and evening programs. So go through, uh, we have about 10 there that are listed. Go through and see which one best fits your needs and you can apply that way. Again, all we need is a high school transcript and any previous college transcript. So if you went to another community college or another college, another four-year college, as long as you can get us that official transcript, we don't care what your past grades are. That was an old school. You're here at Catawba now. We'll, we'll teach you how to succeed here. Um, so it, it's okay that your GPA is under a, a 2.0 from your previous college. Get us that, as long as you can get us that transcript, you can come on down and be an online and evening student. So if I go and um, apply for the online and evening with that below 2.0 GPA, will I be able to take classes in the day program? Say I'm very interested in mm -hmm. um, exercise science, but I know that that's only a day program. This is something that we've had a lot of students, especially now when the pandemic is going on, is that they come into us and they come into an online student to start with. And their end goal is to work in exercise science, which is not an online and evening program. What we're going to do is we're going to work with you to get some of those gen eds taken, to get some of those success classes taken, take them all online, get your GPA boosted back up, and then we'll politely present you in a nice package back to the day program, and then you can start taking classes during the day. Simple. Great questions. Yes. All right, I'm going to um, stop sharing my video real quick, and I have a quick tour of campus. I'm really hoping that I can get it to load properly for you guys. Um, perfect. Um, and Holly, if you can let me know if you have problems uh, hearing this. Okay. If you haven't been on our campus, you should come. It's beautiful. <laughs> No, oh, it's going to be a little choppy. <laughs> no volume yet. Okay. Let me see. Sometimes it plays its volume and sometimes it doesn't. And it looks like my volume is up all the way. So we can just do a quick tour and I can um, yeah. kind of walk you through it. How about that? Since we're struggling <laughs> with our volume. That's awesome. so right now she's at one of our residence hall. This is SA. <laughs> Um, this is one of our uh, upperclassmen residence hall and the inside. And these are some of our dorms that students let us come in and take videos <laughs> of. So this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what our dorms or our residence halls look like on the inside. All right, this is another one of our, um, this, this is our music department here um, for, they're jamming away on some guitars there. Yeah. This is our public yeah. safety building here that you can come if you have any questions. They're constantly on campus helping people, driving around on their little guitar <laughs> to help you. So Hurley uh, is another residence hall here that we're flying over. All right, and this is our Christopher Peel building. This is um, where our large auditorium and one of our theaters are. Very active, obviously, with our performing arts in this area, our, our growing program. She's now at the environmental science building that is very neat and looking over our 200, over 250 acre preserve here on Catawba's campus. So as you can see, we've got trails walking around campus. Um, that helps students get involved in the sciences here. This is one of our newly re renovated labs here at Catawba as well, and our beautiful um, Dearborn Chapel.
This is third place. So third place is located at the bottom of our chapel. It's a place, and that's the library, for students to hang out and do some studies and have meetings. Then in the library here, we have different facilities available for the students to learn from, from writing centers to tutoring. And then down in the basement, we have some fun bookshelves that move like Harry Potter. <laughs> Um, this is Hedrick, the, one of the main buildings here at Catawba. This is where my office and Holly office is held. This is also where financial aid and the business office is held as well. I have no idea what she's talking about there. She looks good <laughs> though. <laughs> But here's some more of our dorms. Um, Hoke Hall is definitely where some of our performing arts do, do perform over there. They put on performances throughout the week and um, they are, and right now for COVID, they're a little bit further and far between, but um, we normally have performances every week going on in Hoke Hall. That's where IT, IT is. Well. Yeah, IT is at the bottom. That is our freshman dorm, Woodson, right here as you're seeing. And Kettner, our school, um, Kettner School of Business, we are partnered with um, Ralph Kettner. Um, he helped us build the School of Business here, and we just re-renovated this building that holds our new nursing, uh, newly renovated nurse nursing program here. This is Aberdathy Village and some of the um, depart, uh, residence halls on the inside. And what we just saw here are, is our athletic facilities and our um, gym here. Now you're looking at the student affairs building here. We have some different types of game tables available. McCorkles, which is a cafeteria that's up at the top that has a Starbucks in it. Esports is located here and also in our basement is the CAF. But now she's wrapping up here. So I am gonna stop sharing this screen. She's thanking us for taking a tour with us. Alicia, um, I've got a question here from a student um, that's asking about taking a real campus tour. Is that an option we can do? Great question. So yes, you can get on, um, if you go to catawba.edu backslash visit, we are taking visitors right now. Like Holly mentioned early on in the presentation, we are um, still in the green area of COVID. So we are still 100% on campus with um, all of our tours, we will accept two families at a time. One student with two uh, visitors can join them during the tour. We'll be happy to give you a presentation and then take you on about an hour tour of campus so you can see the facilities in person. So that is definitely available right now. And again, that you can go up and sign up for those visits at catawba.edu backslash visits. And again, we're just, um, because of all health situations, we're monitoring everybody that comes in. Everybody has to go through a health screening at public, public safety before the um, tours begin. Great question. I'm going to jump in on something before the next question pops in. Um, if anyone is still currently a student at a community college and you have questions about Catawba or you kind of want to see what it's about, this whole four-year university is about something that's enticing, I think, to especially our local area students, but also now to anyone in North or South Carolina is you can take a free class with us 100% free as long as you're a full-time community college student. I know that sounds crazy, right? To get a free college class for doing absolutely nothing but being full-time at your community college. Gasp, absolutely. We're here to help the students succeed, whether that be you take our credit and finish it out here with us at Catawba, but you can also take that and go on to another school and finish your degree there. We will, we are here for student success. Along with what Alicia said earlier, you know, our class sizes are small. We provide that maximum interaction with our students. We're here for you. Um, and one way we'd like to do that, especially through the Division of Distance and Online Education is through a free class. So if you're a full-time community college student, all you have to do is shoot me an email, shoot Alicia an email, um, go to kataba.edu, type in a question, ask me here, whatever it may pop up, is that we can help you get a free class as long as you're a full-time community college student. It's very easy. You can take one online. Alicia, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you can take one in the daytime as well. 
you can. So we do have um, that available blah, 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 availability in the daytime as well, um, especially um, if you're a local community college in um, that's close to Catawba College. We do have our Stay Local initiative that is available for those students. So if you want to know more about the Stay Local um, initiative and what that in involves, please don't hesitate to reach out. My information is here on the screen in front of you. Um, feel free to text or call. That's not my um, you can't text to that number, but if you call, I'll be happy to give you the phone number that you can text to if you feel more comfortable with that. But feel free to give us a um, call or eyes, um, some type of contact at any time, and we'd be happy to answer any questions. Alicia, I've got a question that's popping yeah. up here. Um, it's asking about kind of a, a rolling enrollment. Is that something that the day and evening programs offer? Yes, we do have rolling enrollment here. Um, so we do have a priority deadline for the day program of November 1st. And typically if your application is in by November 1st, we'd like to give you a decision by the holidays. So you definitely have some great news to share over those winter holidays. But we do have that rolling admissions and all applications at all time are free. Again, they're free. So it does <laughs> not hurt to apply to Catawba, get an answer that, of what you would like. And then um, if, it's, if we're not the right fit for you, then you'll know, you won't know unless you apply. Absolutely. Same thing for online and evening classes. We have rolling admissions and rolling classes. Provided COVID wasn't here, we'd be having four, eight, and 16 week long classes. So you can almost get started about 11 times a year, which is fantastic. Here, if you're that is four week classes. Yep. Four week classes, provided COVID wasn't here. Right now, due to COVID and certain circumstances, we're doing eight week and 16 week long courses, which has actually been very beneficial uh, for our students. So if you're thinking, wow, I'm not really sure if I want to apply by a specific date or if you don't get your stuff in in time, like Alicia said, we have rolling admissions. Uh, online in the evening has rolling start date for classes. Uh, we actually had one that just started October 4th. We have winter term coming up. So uh, it's not too late. That's for sure. So feel free to apply whenever. Um, again, we do have that rolling admission, but we do not have a deadline. Um, so we have priority deadlines, but that doesn't mean that you can't apply. I've had students apply the day classes start. Now, to be honest with you, don't stress <laughs> yourself out and please don't do that to yourself. I mean, I can handle it, but I'm more worried about the student. We highly encourage you to come in, be able to give us all those supplemental items, your transcripts, your high school transcripts, the transfer reference form, whatever is needed for your admissions process and get that in a timely fashion. So you can't, don't have to stress if you're gonna be able to, if you're gonna have to be pulled from the class because you can't get a transcript in from another institution in time. So that's something that um, we encourage you to go ahead and apply, but don't try not to wait until last minute, but we'll still accept, look over your applications um, if you do apply later on or right before classes start. One good thing about um, go ahead and starting that application is right now it's an unforeseen time and transcripts, whether they come online or through the mail, have tend to come in kind of however they want to come in due to other schools and their work schedule and the mailman and his work schedule. Um, so if you can, we always try to suggest our students to submit an electronic copy. It comes faster, it's a little bit easier. Uh, you don't have to worry about the mailman. Um, but if your school or previous college or high school that you went to only does regular mail, that's just fine too. Just be prepared that it may take a couple of days to get to us. We also have um, the availability here, and especially in the day, and um, Holly, correct me if I'm wrong, in the online and evening, that we will um, take unofficial transcripts. We will need those official transcripts by the time classes begin, if not there shortly after. You're, you will be put on a hold, but we can give you a decision on an unofficial transcript. Absolutely. As long as we know that the official ones have been ordered and we are expecting them by a certain deadline date, which especially for online, we're a little more um, we have a specific time cutoff that we need those back in by, but again, as long as we know you've ordered the official ones, we can make a decision and process you with an unofficial. If it comes down to that, that wire of, we waited till the last minute to apply. <laughs> So I did have um, a question come in um, back to COVID. It was, um, 
what is campus currently like with students on campus? Are, are they wearing masks? Is the cafeteria open? Yes to everything. Students are very, uh, they know that if they're not following the guidelines that they're going to have to go home and the students don't want to go home. No. Um, case in point, I was walking to my car last night um, after work and I saw two friends meet up across the street after the, they crossed the crosswalk and immediately the masks went on as soon as they got close to one another. So yes, it's very, we are very actively trying to protect ourselves here on campus. We have forehead scanners here on campus available for students. Um, we also have an app on the phone that you can download and um, ask you a series of six or seven questions that you're supposed to answer before you go into class. If the screen turns red, you're not supposed to go to class. It's asking you to stay <laughs> home. So it's definitely, um, we have an, 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 a community here that wants us to stay he here on campus and stay active here on campus. So we're doing the best that we can. The cafeteria is open. We have limited seating, but we do have a beautiful courtyard that you can sit at and beautiful trees, as you can see behind me, um, <laughs> that you can sit under with your lunches and tabletops as well. So we, um, we encourage you guys to come on campus, take a visit and check us out if you have any questions whatsoever. Yeah, a little add on to that is if you're ever curious of what stage we're in, because we are having students on campus, if you just go onto our main website, catava.edu, there's gonna be a banner running across the top and that is updated like every hour, every day. We're on top of it because we want our students here, even though I work for online programs, I still want our day students here, like that we thrive off of our kids being here. Um, and it's also nice to see that even my online students are, are taking this seriously, whether they're uh, coming to campus to pick up their textbook or if they're still online, they're still doing their part in our community and around Rowan Salisbury area to wear their masks, to go in the appropriate doors, out the appropriate doors, up the appropriate steps. Everything on campus is labeled. So if you're curious if Catawba is being safe or not, like Alicia said, check us out online. Come on down. I promise you we'll, we'll show you how we keep it safe. <laughs> All right. Do we have any other questions today for the greater good? No, Alicia, if you would, uh, maybe put back up our yes, contact. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Stuff. Um, if anybody's watching or plays this back, if you have a question that didn't get answered or uh, you want a little bit more specific feedback for anything in particular, feel free to reach out to Alicia or I. There's our emails there. There's also our websites listed there in case you want to go ahead and apply. If you have questions through the application process, you can call us. Um, I work, my phone rang last night at 930. So don't worry, there's someone here. You can always leave a message. You can send a text, like Alicia said, not how many of you are used to texting, <laughs> uh, uh, texting the college. Like, who does that? We do that. And remember, our applications are free. And that's not just during CFNC week. It's all the time. All the time. So go to catawba.edu backslash apply. I'd like to say thanks to all those who come on and watched us this afternoon. And thank you to all those who will be watching us on a pre-recorded screen later. Uh, we appreciate it so much. And thank you for the opportunity to allow us to do this online. Thank you for your times, everybody. We would greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come visit us. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. That was wonderful information. Um, so quickly, let me share my screen. Alrighty, everyone. So I just have a few closing announcements. Um, so thank you all for attending today. And once again, thank you to our wonderful presenters. When you close this window, there will be a very quick short four question survey that we'd really appreciate you filling out so we can get your feedback on this programming. Also, this is just one of the many sessions being offering. You can view all other sessions at cacro.org. That is C-A-C-R-A-O.org. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all other session recordings on that same website at cacro.org. That is C-A-C-R-A-O.org. Thank you again, everyone, for attending. Thank you to our wonderful presenters, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much.